Welcome back to Good Morning Colorado and hope your Thursday is going well so far. 621 right now, blue sky, sunshine to go around. We're not even contending with any clouds at this point across much of southern Colorado. This, by the way, is a view courtesy of our Cornerstone Roofing and Gutter Neighborhood Weather Network camera. Get ready for the 80s and 90s today. It will be warm. And while it will be drier for many across the region, even still, we are tracking the potential for some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. So I ditched the jacket this morning, but this afternoon, I'd make sure to at least have the umbrella handy. You'll want that. We'll be watching the area's streams and creeks just because of some of the snow melt that we've been dealing with. And some of the added sunshine, warmer temperatures should really kind of help that out. Also, with some additional rain and already saturated soil, we're just going to have to watch some of the area burn scars for that. Also, gusty winds will be a possibility today with some of these thunderstorms. Also, on the lookout for for hail and some rotating storms for the eastern plains, especially for the very far eastern plains near the Kansas border. So again, this is something we're going to be monitoring throughout the afternoon. Expected to really start between a 4 and 6 p.m. and continuing throughout parts of the evening. Like I mentioned, those wind speeds will be blustery this afternoon, ranging anywhere between 10 and 20 miles an hour. But of course, those gusts will be much higher associated with some of those thunderstorms. Live HD Doppler radar dry, extremely quiet for right now. Mother Nature storing up some of her energy for later on this afternoon. And we'll stick with the sunshine this morning. In fact, during the lunch hour, it should be quite nice. A quarter afternoon shows just a few clouds for the mountains, really nothing too major. A quarter after two, a few more clouds to go around, and we will be building in some of the clouds later on throughout the day. Here's a look just a bit after 5. You see some of these showers developing primarily west of the I-25 corridor, spotty showers elsewhere. These will continue to track off to the south and to the east throughout the day. So I just show you that sky cast to not only demonstrate the timing, but also to show you just how scattered and spotty some of these showers and thunderstorms will be. We'll really be watching the eastern plains for more of that active weather this afternoon. Highs today in the 80s and 90s along the I-25 corridor, 60s through the 80s for the mountains and the valleys, and tracking some of the 90s for the eastern plains. But get this, we're going to be even warmer tomorrow. 90 degrees in Colorado Springs, sticking with mostly sunny skies for your Saturday, and then we're just ranging in the 80s and 90s after that. In Pueblo, 94 today, upper 90s tomorrow. Tomorrow, and tracking the overnight temperatures in the 50s and the 60s, a mixture of sunshine and clouds throughout the rest of that seven day forecast. In Canyon City, we'll reach 90 degrees today, 92 tomorrow, slightly cooler on Saturday due to the impact of a very weak cold front, and more clouds on Sunday. In fact, for Teller County, we could have just a few spotty showers on Sunday afternoon, but again, nothing major or widespread. We will be talking about that day forecast coming up next. All right, a good opportunity coming up for folks to, to kind of recover from the any flood damage yeah. they might have suffered. Exactly, yep. Thanks, Abby. Of course. Now we want to check on your morning commute with Mike Lewis. Uh, he has your time.